Hey campers, it's another edition of What's Cooking with Roger B, Dutch Oven 101, if you will. Kind of a, a, a different trip. We're up in Alaska, as a matter of fact, outside of Excursion Inlet. Here at Doc Warner's Fishing Adventure, I've got Gloria Hub. Gloria, thanks for coming on the show with us. Well, thank you. Glad to be here. You know, we're going to have some fun uh, on the next few cooking segments doing seafood, one of my favorite uh, dishes, of course, from Alaska. And we're going to kind of give you the, the inside story on how to cook seafood. And we want to start off with some salmon. I think a lot of people have some misconceptions about salmon. Uh, I know one of the things you and I were talking about was when you cook it, pull the salmon out early because it keeps cooking. Talk yes. about that. Well, the first bad thing you can do is not catch it, of course. But the second thing you can do to ruin a good fish is to cook it too long. You've got to remember that once you take it out of your oven, that fish is going to continue cooking in its own heat for six to eight minutes. So if it takes you that long to get to the table, your cooked fish is already overcooked. So I always undercook it just a little bit so that by the time you sit down and start eating, it's just perfect. All right, let's get started putting the salmon uh, together. We're going to do what? We're going to start off with some olive oil, extra virgin mm -hmm. olive oil. You're and right. what are you going to do with it? You're just going to cover the, the, the salmon fillets with it? Yes. Okay. And okay. What? I'll do one and then you do one. All right. Okay. So you just grab your piece of salmon, take some olive oil, and you just want to coat it really nicely. Oh, it makes it pretty when you cook it. It makes it so it doesn't stick to your parchment paper. It makes the seasoning adhere to it better, and it tastes good. And then we're going to take some seasoning salt. I always just do my seasoning salt with my hand because then I can control how much goes on there. Okay. So All take right. a little of this, and we just want to sprinkle it on there. Really basic, really simple. Of course, you're watching Dutch Oven 101, so you already know that. Pick the parchment paper up. Center it over the Dutch oven. This is the hard part. Drop it in. <laughs> the crux of this is it's really that simple. And yet, when you open that Dutch oven lid, and people go, wow, oh. it's really that good. All right. Ah. Moment of truth. Oh. oh. That's beautiful. That looks wonderful. Well, you know what you need to finish this off? <laughs> Never travel without a fork. Thanks again, of course, to, to Gloria and, and the folks at Doc Warner's Alaskan Fishing Adventure, to Camp Chef for helping us to continue to further Dutch oven cooking here on Natural Leisure. I'd say there's about only one thing left. That's to try the chow. We'll see you next time on Dutch Oven 101.